To be honest, we're gonna do some DIY non-toxic weed killer. I know what you're thinking. It ain't exactly what you think. We got special ingredients. So good, so good. We renamed it. We called it Slap Yo Mama Good Weed Killer. And we hired a professional athlete. Oh yeah. It's a training. To do an infomercial for us. All right. Let's go. Slap your mama weed killer. Excited for this roll. Oh yeah. The cream always rises to the top. Ah, and macho Mac Savage. The lesser known savage cousin. We got the, we got the distilled white vinegar. Iodized salt. No kosher, no Epsom. Slap your mama. Don't this show. Just blue. Just blue. Secret ingredient that makes it slap your mama good. One gallon, two cups salt, three tablespoons of the down dish soap. Five tablespoons of arthritis rub. This weed killer, slap your mama, will rise to the cream of the top of the crop. Oh yeah. Have had enough. You're horrible. Get out of here. And I'm gonna just start off with making a little bottle. Okay, you can make these in bigger bottles. You can make these in this. When I originally did this, and you'll, I'll show some footage of the weeds that I put this on. I did it in my two gallon sprayer. I made up a gallon. Had a willing neighbor that allowed me to apply this to their driveway. This is not my recipe, I found it. Searching the internet all over and all over, I wanted something different than just your normal vinegar-based DIY. So I came across this chemist, Chemistry Cache. I'll put all the information in the description, link to their website. This chemist came up with this formula and all these ratios. So I'm just the messenger here. So don't kill the messenger, all right? Don't, don't be killing the messenger. We're gonna start with three cups of distilled white vinegar. You want distilled white vinegar, okay? Don't ask me, can we use this? Can we use apple cider? Can we use, no. Distilled white vinegar. Y'all got that? Distilled. Distilled white vinegar. Crazy cracker said distilled white vinegar. Just got a little bottle right here that we picked up at Target. You can use this. I think this was $4. Funnel. Three cups, pre-measured, distilled white vinegar. Now here's where a recipe starts to differ, okay? Everyone else making gallons of this, it's one gallon distilled white vinegar then one cup of salt, and it's regular table salt, the regular iodized salt. Don't ask if you can use Epsom salt, no. What does Epsom salt do? It helps plants grow. What are we trying to do? Kill plants, all right? Don't ask. I'm telling you this, this is what you're gonna use. Don't use kosher, okay? We don't need a kosher meal here. We need iodized table salt. Per one gallon of distilled white, ve white vinegar, it was one cup of table salt. Okay, here's where this differs. In that three cups of white vinegar, it is three quarter cup salt. Now, if you magnify that out per one gallon, which I will have those for you in the description, that's actually gonna come out to four cups of salt. Now, I did it with that. I'm not a big fan of that. There's a lot of salt. I'm thinking maybe you could cut that down to two, two and a half, and still be effective. I haven't tried it that way. I've only tried it per the recipe and magnified out to a gallon. So we take our three quarters cup salt, and I probably should have done that before I pour it in because solid on Wet now is probably gonna to stick to inside here. Okay. 
Now we go to two teaspoons of Blue Dawn dish soap. Blue Dawn dish soap. In that link to the chemistry cachet, she has links to different things of why you should use Blue Dawn dish soap. It's something, I'm not a chemist, I don't know. I'm a crazy cracker from the hood. I, this is bro science to me, okay? So that's what I'm doing. So we're going two teaspoons. I got a teaspoon right here. I know some of the other formulas, the regular formulas, they only call for one on a gallon, but this is what, she's a chemist. I'm going with what is, and from the results that I've seen, it's pretty works pretty good. We got one. We got two. Now for the special ingredient. I'll put the links in the description where you can find it too. I'm not an affiliate. Heck, I wish I was because once y'all try this, I think these people are, I think they're gonna sell out of this stuff, but I'm not, so boo on me. Right here, this little red special sauce. If you're kind of old like me, you might have to use this stuff for more than just your weed killer. Dr. Fred's Arthritis and Sport Rub, Penetrating Heat Rub. Two major ingredients in here to show you. Capsicum, methyl salicylate. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that pro properly. Like I said, this is bro science. The link, that's to an actual chemist. Capsicum comes from peppers. Still non-toxic. You don't want to drink this, but you could. So capsicum comes from peppers. No, you can't just use cayenne pepper. The methyl salicylate, that's how we'll pronounce that. That is the heat, okay? And per this bottle, I don't know why I'm yelling at y'all. Am I yelling at y'all? I might be yelling at y'all. I'll, I'll quiet down a little bit. Stop yelling. I'm just, I'm excited about this. We need three teaspoons of Dr. Fred's arthritis rub. This right here is the special ingredient that kicks this weed killer in the butt, accelerates it to work faster and stronger. So we need one, two, if you go over a little bit or under, it's not that big a deal, okay? And you'll notice I don't have gloves, I don't have eye protection on because it's vinegar, salt, dish soap, and arthritis rub. That is not that bad for you. It's uh, menthol smelling, it's pretty good and everything. Okay, we've got this. Take our handy dandy top on here. Shake it up real good, okay? Now, some of you are gonna say that have probably seen other ingredients on the uh, the old black box, the tube of Eunice. Hey, you're only supposed to have one tablespoon or this much of Dawn dish soap because it'll be too much suds. What I have found in my mixing this a couple times I've done, I think this makes it so this isn't so sudsy. We do got some suds in there, but it doesn't affect the distribution of this whether it be by this or whether it be by this, it doesn't. So using that amount of Dawn de Soap is no big deal. Now I'm gonna show you some footage of me applying this down and I'll show you, this is the footage of I applied it. This is results after one hour, four hour, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours and then another little bit of footage. So that should be rolling right now. Is it? I don't know. I'm in front of you guys.
Hey, right here, right here. Hey. Y'all subscribe to YouTube channels? Yeah, we of course. do. And what channel do you subscribe to? Electric Lawns, of course. And yes. What, what do you recommend? Um, Electric Lawn is great. Yeah. 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 Y